Hey guys, I am Roshni and once again welcome back to my channel Circuit Globe. In today's video lecture, we will see what are basic electronic components and what are the different types of electronic components. So let's get started. Friends, electronic components are known to be the basic building block of various electronic circuits or systems. The reason is when various electronic components connected together on a single circuit board then these form electronic circuits. We are living in technological era. The television, telephone, air conditioners and various audio equipments all are the result of technological advancements. These are formed of electronic components. And so we must know about the basic components that constitute any electronic system. Majorly there are two types of electronic components. The first one is active while the other one is passive. Let us now proceed to understand each type separately. So let's first understand passive components. Passive components are the ones that hold the ability to attenuate the supplied electrical voltage or signal and cannot amplify it. Sounds bit confusing. Don't worry. Passive components obstruct the supplied energy either by storing it or dissipating it. The various passive components are as follows. Resistor, inductor and capacitor. Let us now understand each passive component separately. The first passive component is resistor. It is a component that resists or obstructs the flow of current through it. So basically resistors provide electrical resistance to the circuit. The behavior of resistor is defined under Ohm's law which states that the current flowing through a conductor shows proportionality with respect to the voltage existing across the conductor. And with the removal of this sign of proportionality, a constant of proportionality that is resistance will get added. This is the symbolic representation for resistors. And physically, resistors appears somewhat like this. Resistor can be of fixed or variable type. The resistance of fixed type resistors do not change according to external parameters. While in variable resistors, the value is changeable. Our next component is inductor. Inductor is a component that stores energy in the form of magnetic field within it. It is a two terminal component within which the generated magnetic flux due to magnetic field resist changing current. It is symbolically represented as this and is formed by wounding copper wire over a plastic or ferromagnetic material. It can be air core inductor, ferromagnetic core inductor or variable inductor and is pictorially represented in this manner. The last type of passive component is capacitor which also stores energy just like inductor but this stores energy in the form of electric field or electric charge. It consists of two conducting plates that are separated by dielectric material and so to represent the two plates and the separation by a dielectric material it is symbolically represented in this manner. Capacitor mainly blocks DC current and allows AC current to flow through them. It majorly finds use in energy storing elements and filter circuits. This is the physical appearance of capacitor. However, there are other type of capacitors as well. Now coming to the next type that is active components. So the components that provide or control energy to the circuit are called active components. These components basically generate energy in the form of voltage or current and act as source of energy in any circuit. But more specifically they are secondary source of energy as they sometimes require external source of power for their operation. However, these components amplify or increase the energy level within the circuit. The various active components are as follows. Diode, transistor, power sources, integrated circuit, display devices, etc. Let us now have a briefing of each active component separately. So the first component is diode. A diode is a non-linear semiconductor device that allows current to flow in one direction only. It is a two terminal device. Its operation depends on external energy source as it conducts under the application of external potential. The simplest form of diode is a PN junction diode whose symbolic representation is shown over here. This is our P terminal and this is N. Physically, a diode somewhat resembles like this. However, there are various different types of diode. 
such as zener diode photo diode gun diode light emitting diode laser diode and step recovery diode etc now moving to the next active component that is transistor friends transistors hold great importance in electronic circuits it is used for the purpose of switching and amplification it is a three terminal device which is composed of semiconductor material and are classified as bjt's fet ujt etc the fet can also be classified as jfet and mosfet and these are more further classified according to the mode of their operation in this symbolic representation we have shown a simple bipolar junction transistor of npn configuration and physically a transistor appears like this guys our next component is power source that provides operating voltage to any circuit it can be a dc power supply or a battery here we can clearly see the symbolic representation of a battery a battery changes chemical energy into electrical energy other than these ic's that is integrated circuits are also considered as active component which is formed by the combination of various electronic component generally transistors on a single chip made up of semiconductor material along with that display devices are also considered as active components it can be an lcd display or seven segmental display a 16 cross 2 lcd display shows 32 characters as it has 16 columns and two rows while seven segmental display is used for showing decimal number in various electronic devices so these are all about basic electronic components and this is all for now i hope you enjoyed this session so please do like and share this video and put on your comments below and don't forget to subscribe our channel for further updates i'll be back with another interesting and useful topic till then take good care of yourself bye bye